คครับผมสวัสดีแฟนๆอาริฟุตบอลนะครับวันนี้อยู่กับผมต่อนารนอนะครับวันนี้ได้รับเกียรติมากๆเลยนะครับอยู่กับ2นักฟุตบอลระดับตำนานของทีมแมนเชสเตอร์ยูไนเต็ดเลยนะครับทั้งพอลสโกแล้วก็นิกกี้บัตนะครับสวัสดีครับ Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We have a few questions for you. Okay. Just fun games. Okay. So you guys have a whiteboard. I will ask each question. You write the answer and show us together. Okay. For sure. The first one, please write your favorite number seven for Manchester United. Ready? One, two, three. You are who is that? Brian Robson and George Best. George Best. This was my dad's, my father's favorite player, and all that we got spoke about when we was younger was the Busby Babes, and he was obviously the the biggest one of of that era. So I never watched him, I never seen much of him, but the bit only video footage. So iconically, over the years, he was the for me the biggest number seven. Brian Robson. Yeah, just saying that we grew up watching him, he was my favourite player growing up as a midfield player, scored goals and we was lucky enough to actually play a few games with him at, at the end of his career but he was a captain as well, he was a leader of the team so he was always somebody we looked up to. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. If two of you were not a central midfielder, what do you think the other one would play in which position? One, two, three. So, number 10. And centre back, what reason? He's strong, he's big, he can, he <laughs> likes to tackle, um, <laughs> he likes to head it, he, good, he can spring, he can jump, very good defender, well, I can do everything, so as a midfield player, you have to do everything and I think he'd be... Uh, so, scores, scores number 10? Number 10, yeah. Paul, when he was younger, obviously played higher up the pitch, uh -huh. played more of a goal scoring forward and then over the years, at 16, 17, 18, mm -hmm. he started coming backwards from mm -hmm. top to then 10, played a lot of number 10, but I think... Scully could play number mm -hmm. 10 easily. In the real game, I think I haven't seen you play number 10 before. Have you ever played? Yeah, I, I did play quite a few games actually. When, I remember when Rude Van Nistelrooy was, uh, uh -huh. was number 9, I played number 10 quite a few games. Mm -hmm. But we always had very good number 10s anyway. But you figured Dwight York, Teddy Sheringham. So. But which position do you actually prefer, like number 10 or anything? I do like number 10. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I don't have to run. Uh -huh. I have to run back. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. If you have the ball at the last second of the game, which teammate do you want to be in front of the goal? And which teammate you don't want to be in front of the goal <laughs> for scoring? Ready? One, two, three. It's Ruth <laughs> Fenisera and you yourself. Ruth Fenisera and Rio. Yes. But no, I've never seen him do any finishing and training, any shoots or anything like that. So Rio, but Ruth. Mm -hmm. I think Nicky Green as well was the best. Ah, yeah. It was the best finisher I've ever seen. So I was, I was going to put Rude or Cole, because I think Cole was Andy Cole. an unbelievable yes. finisher, yeah, but I think Rude mm -hmm. just come to my mind straight away. So, mm. tough one when we were very lucky to play with so many good players that yeah. can score goals. You just put Rude in all time, but when you think about it, you'd have Teddy Sheringham, you'd have Cole, you'd have mm -hmm. York, you'd have Scholes, you'd have Cantona, mm. so it's a difficult one. Mm. But I don't want to be there. Leave me, leave me, <laughs> leave me away from it. My, my mind always goes to Man United, mm -hmm. but I always forget I played with uh, Alan Shearer, who was probably one, probably the best yeah. goal scorer that yeah. I've played with. Uh -huh. um, so, as a Man United theme, I'd always go there. But you think about it, Shearer was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's one easy one. Which player from the class of '92 spent the longest time getting dressed? One, two, three. Gary Neville mm -hmm. and David Beckham. Bex always looked great, always yeah. wanted to look great, but for me, Gary started getting ready for the game at about 12 o'clock, so for three hours getting ready for uh -huh. the game, where we'd be sat around chatting and relaxing and uh, then get changed in five minutes. Gary would always put his mind to get ready like for the game. Full gas yeah. for the game. So I think that in clothes wise, I agree with, with uh, scores with Bex, but mm -hmm. mentally getting ready was was definitely Gary in front. I see. Okay. Just to get dressed, yeah. Well, David was always very smart and looked very good and nice hair. So, mm -hmm. yeah, David took a little bit of time to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The next one. Oh, what do you think? Yeah. Which teammate can keep the secret best? Nicky <laughs> Butt <laughs> and Scorsese. <laughs> okay. We don't have secrets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. Well, we've known no. each other a long time, so yeah. we probably trust each other. We've got lucky that our group grew up together and we trust each other really a lot. So I know if I tell him something, it won't go anywhere else. So you're sharing everything? Not everything, though. <laughs> <Not everything. laughs> <laughs> the last question Is there any player that you regret not playing with during your career? One, two, three. Messi and Ronaldo. 
A9. Yeah. Okay. Favourite player I've ever played against was Ronaldo. Phenomenal. When I played against him, I didn't want to go anywhere near him. He was that good. So for me, it would be Ronaldo, the original Ronaldo icon. So. Uh, and Messi. Uh, yeah, I've just put Messi out. I, I don't regret not playing with anybody really because we played in special teams with, yeah. with some brilliant players. But obviously, what Messi's done in the Barcelona team and then going to Argentina win the World Cup as well. He's an unbelievable player, and as Nicky said, it's someone you don't want to go next to because you know he can just beat you. Mm. But yeah, Messi, do you know what? Any of that Barcelona team, I think it's Xavi and Iniesta, they're all brilliant. So no regrets, but. Mm. If I had a choice to play somebody, with somebody, it would have been messy. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.